Hello everyone. Welcome back on the another video on speed control of induction motor. In this video, we are going to simulate the single phase induction motor for various type of load. The load could be fan load, pump load and constant torque load. So in the previous example, we have seen the speed control of induction motor three phase induction motor now in this video we are going to learn about the speed control of single phase induction motor using matlab simulink if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and subscribe the channel so first we will build a power circuit later we will build a control circuit to control the speed of the induction motor so to build the power circuit for the single phase induction motor we need a constant dc source that is the dc voltage source further we need a igbt and diode as it is single phase h bridge topology we are going to use so we need a four switch and the switch we are giving g1 g2 g3 and g4 and we will connect in h bridge topology and we will connect a dc source here now what we need we need a asynchronous single phase machine so we will type single phase asynchronous machine here once when you are clicking on this one you will get a different kind of machines so here we will use capacitor start capacitor run motor and the parameter the power rating we are using one hp induction machine that is 746 watt and line voltage we are considering 230 line to line voltage and 50 hertz frequency so 230 will be the rms voltage and we will apply it now we will connect one leg of the inverter with a positive and another leg with a negative now to control the speed we need to sense the speed of the motor so we need some kind of encoder so here we will use the bus selector and the bus selector we will connect here this port m port and when you are clicking on the bus selector you will seeing this interface and we will remove it and we need the speed rotary speed we need the electromagnetic torque to see what is the rotor speed while controlling the speed of the induction motor induction machine and what is the electromagnetic torque okay so now we need a gain block the gain block is required to convert the speed into the the speed will be in radian per second to convert the speed into the revolution per minute so the formula is to convert the speed that is radian per second into rpm that is omega equals to 2 pi ns by 60 so by this we will just use pi by 30 sorry 30 by pi to convert the omega that is in radian per second into the ns that will be in rpm revolution revolution per minute now we will use a scope and we will connect here and we will see the electromagnetic torque that will be in newton into meter okay so now 
V2 used for different kind of load. You can use it for the constant lock torque. You can use for the fan load or pump kind of load. So one of the load characteristics we can see here, load torque will be equals to K into omega square, where K is the pump constant and P equals to torque into omega. So with this one, we can calculate the pump constant and once we calculate the pump constant, we can calculate the load torque. So for this machine that is rated at 746 watt ampere KVA rating, for this motor we have obtained the pump constant value that is 0 0.002210 so this is the pump constant value we obtain for this motor so now we want to obtain this kind of characteristics so what we need we need a function and in function we will just multiplying k into omega square so we will just keep this pump constant what we obtain that we will multiply with u1 square <coughs> okay so this u is nothing but that is omega in radian per second and we will connect this to this torque okay so this is the complete completion of the power circuit and here we need a 325 amplitude for 230 line to line voltage of the induction motor so DC link voltage needed 325 for the single phase so now what we need we need to prepare or we need to make a control circuit to control the speed of the motor so now we will build the control circuit as follows so we need a function block repeating sequence relational operator discrete time integrator addition from go to so here first what we will do we will control in the open loop manner of the speed control using v by control method so we will give a 50 hertz frequency and the 50 hertz frequency we will use the v bf control so for the v bf control voltage frequency control we need a modulation index as well as theta to get the modulation index as well as theta from the frequency we are just dividing this frequency by 50 so we will get the modulation index and to obtain the omega from this frequency we will multiply this 50 is the frequency with 2 into pi so we will obtain omega and we will multi integrate this omega so we will obtain the theta now we will use mux and we want to generate sin theta and sin m into sin theta and m into sin theta minus pi so we will use the function block here so here that will be the first signal will be ma into sine u2 that is the first signal and second signal will be u2 minus pi now this is the control signal that we will compare with the repeating sequence 
for to trigger the inverter in the PWM fashion. So this is one zero one two into we will use the frequency of two point five kilohertz and the value output value we will keep minus one one and minus one. Now we need a logical operator that is not gate and that we will give the PWM pulses for the inverter. We will change the name A B C and D we'll connect A here we'll connect B to this leg C to this leg and uh, D to this leg so this is our complete control of the single phase induction motor now we need a power GUI block and we will change the simulation time in discrete and sampling time 1 e key power minus 5 and we will run the simulation now we will run the simulation and we will see the speed of the motor as you can see here this is the speed of the motor using v vibe control it is 1450 now we will change the frequency to 45 and we will see whether any changes happening or not in the simulink so we will just change and we will see that is a changes happens simulation further we will change the frequency to 35 and we will see whether speed changed or not as you can see here when we are changing the frequency we are able to changing the speed of the induction motor so this is the way we can do the open loop v vibe control of single phase induction motor and we can control the speed of single phase induction motor if you have any queries regarding this you can comment me on the comment section and Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.